In the last couple of videos, you made a ton of progress with fragments, but it doesn't work out quite well. So here's the app right here. I just have it up in the emulator, and I'm gonna just go ahead and kill it just to make sure it's gone. I'm gonna open it back up, Dan's e-commerce. Again, it could be whatever. So here's our current app. It's kind of like all messed up. Like look, these products down here, they don't even have images. Um, this top part, gray, what's going on there? But some stuff is working. So say we open this up and say we select home. Well, nothing's, uh, nothing's working for that and shorts. Nothing's working there, but look, check out jeans. Now we see the jeans fragment here. So what we wanna do is replace all of this screen, not just the top part up here, but all of it. So uh, the space up here as well as the space down here. And we can do that using fragments. So today this will be a, maybe a little bit longer video, but we'll, we'll try to get as many done as we can. So like you can go to, uh, if I can open it up, jeans, shorts, socks, settings, whatever. Uh, we're gonna make it so it's not so weird. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna put that up there. Okay, so what we did to create the fragment is we basically need two things. We need the XML layout file, which is fragment jeans right there. And again, it looks like this, buy jeans today. Uh, free shipping and then we also need a Kotlin class so I named it jeans fragment and these two these two groups right here so that and that make up our fragment that we need so in main activity what we're doing is hey whenever so get the navigation view and whenever the ID equals jeans do that and this right here is it's basically the setup for a fragment so we kind of do some administrative stuff they say hey replace the frame layout so whatever is the frame layout again command click on it and you can see here it is down there it's this uh it's the top part actually the top part um, but then i'm going to go back and uh so we get also get our so that's where it's going to be loaded into and what do we want to load into it we want to load inside jeans fragment again that's the fragment up here and then we also need commit just to make sure it actually or just to apply it basically we always need that i think if you get rid of it uh, i'm pretty sure android studio will warn you about it saying hey there's no commits we can do option enter uh, then uh, it doesn't work Point is, we need commit. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and see how much progress we can make. Um, so let's go ahead. So first, first things first. Let's go back to the app. Let's make. Let's get rid of this. Yeah, this. I don't like this. How it's over there. Let's just put it back to how it was like a couple of videos ago. Um, well, we're still going to use this. We're just going to refactor it a little bit. So don't. You know, this is. We're not. We're really not making our it hard for ourselves. We're just like structuring it in a different way and making it easier to add fragments. So let's go ahead and do that first. So let's go ahead and let's create a new fragment. Let's call this fragment. Oh, and this, the new fragment we're about to create, we'll call it main fragment. And this will be our, the products right here on the, say this is just the main screen right now, the home screen. So that's what it'll be. It'll be that. So if you just want to watch, that's fine. You don't have to follow along just to kind of show you, but let's go ahead and do this. So let's make a new Kotlin class. We'll call this main fragment make that a class and we want this to extend fragment again the v4 and then we need that there and this is kind of what we did in the previous video so so far so good now we're going to do override method on create view and uh, then we can just get rid of that because we don't need it and then we'll do return um, inflator which comes from up here dot inflate then we need a resource. So this is gonna be our layout. In the other layout, it was layout jeans, but in this case, we'll call it r.layout. Actually, let's go ahead and just create that. Uh, let's go here. We'll call this um, layout file, and we'll call this fragment, fragment, like if I can type fragment uh, main, I think is what we called it. So fragment main. Okay, cool. So it's nothing, nothing much there. We need r.layout.fragment main, um, then, I think container and then false, I think. Yeah, that works. Okay, cool. So you can see this isn't being used anywhere. So if you put our mouse over there, it says it's class main fragment is never used. So let's go ahead and go back to main activity. And let's go ahead and just set it as the main fragment. So we'll, we'll clean this up in a little bit. And I promise this video probably will clean it up. But let's go ahead and do something. Let's do this. 
Uh, let's do, uh, we're basically gonna duplicate the code we did right there, but this code right here only happens when there's a press. We want it to happen all the time. So as soon as this, as soon as onCreate comes to the screen, which is when you first load the app, we want to show the fragment. So we'll just do it. Support fragment manager dot begin transaction dot, what is it? Dot replace um, r dot id dot frame layout. And then we need our layout here. We'll call this, oh, actually we, we already created it. So it's main fragment right there. So we'll do main fragment. I think we need that. And, uh, and it's giving us a warning that we saw earlier. There's no commit. So let's do that. Let's do that. Um, dot commit. And there we go. That should clear cleared up. Okay. So now let's go ahead and actually we, so we have our main fragment here and and just to clarify, it's this, that's the Kotlin class. So there's the Kotlin class, and there's the XML, and then there's the yeah, XML layout. So those two files, they kind of go together. And I can command click on this and go to this file. And just really quick, let's do something. Let's do this. Um, text view, let's see. Wrap, wrap. Uh, let's go up a little bit. Text equals welcome home. And let's do one thing. Let's make the text size. Let's make it um, 32 SP. There we go. We've got to save that. Reformat the code. Let's just make the color. Um, we'll make it black, but you can really make it whatever color you want to make it. You can select that and move around. I'm going to cancel out of that because I don't want it. I think it looks good black. Uh, let's also add a little bit of margin. Why not? Mar let's do padding instead. Padding, we'll do 16 dp. There we are, that's a nice fragment. It says welcome home, okay, cool. Back to main activity. So as soon as this, as soon as this app gets loaded onto the device, or as soon as you open up the app, it will go ahead and do that right there. So support fragment manager dot begin transaction dot replace. We have our ID of where we want it to go. And then we have our what goes inside of it, which is, so this main fragment goes inside of that right there, and uh, then commit. So let's just go ahead and run this just to see if this works. It's still running, so give it a second. Install an APK, here we go. Yeah, welcome home. Okay, it's cool, so it's working. Now let's, um, what to do next? Let's go ahead and just make this full screen for now. Um, I'm trying to think. What's the best way to do this? There are a number of options we could use. Let's just let's just let's just keep working through it. We'll go one step at a time. Right now it's kind of messed up, but hopefully by the end of this video it'll be all nice and done. So we can look forward to that. Okay. So we have our main fragment, it's loading. So as soon as on as soon as you create as soon as the app comes to the screen, it's gonna load main activity, it's gonna set up the toolbar, and it's gonna load that oops, and it's gonna load the fragment there. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna. This is getting cluttered up. There are a bunch of tabs open up there. I'm gonna right-click on main activity and do close others. That'll get rid of all the other ones. Now let's go back to our I think content main, and here is our frame layout. So the products that we see, um, so the products that we see down here and that, that's scrolling, that's coming from this recycler view, and this frame layout there is what we're using to load the fragment into. So that, so the ID frame layout right there is being applied it's right there so we're saying hey load the main fragment inside of frame layout and the frame layout is that right there so frame layout let's go ahead and make this full height so let's do this uh top top uh what is it so i just added bottom to bottom of parent and i'm going to go ahead and delete that and i'm going to get zero dp now that will take up all the screen. And just to show you that it really does work. Okay, I'll do this, I'll do. Okay, that's green, you can definitely see that. That's taking up the whole space. So if I go ahead and run that, and again, you, you never wanna do this in a production app, but just to, just to like make sure that you understand what's going on, here we go. So we have Welcome Home, but we also have, I think Jeans should still work. So yeah, buy Jeans. So then hopefully we wanna go back to home, but that doesn't work yet. So we'll fix that in just a second. Let's actually, let's see, what can we do? Oh, I know what we can do. So we have our navigation view, which we've worked on in previous videos. And we're basically saying, hey, whenever somebody clicks on an item, get that ID. And if the ID is jeans, then do that. 
Let's all, whoops, did I mess something up? No, I didn't, okay. So let's go ahead and just get rid of, let's just get rid of these log statements because we don't need them. And let's just get rid of that because we don't want that. And I'm just gonna copy the code right there. I'm gonna paste it there. And so basically whenever, whenever the ID is genes, that's working, that's already working. It's replacing the fragment with genes. But once we select home again, and again, so say once we select home right there, we wanna do all of that, which is load, we wanna load the main fragment. Okay, so this should work. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and run it, and we should see, we should be able to switch out the fragments. So welcome home, we can go to genes, there's by genes today, and home, there's welcome home. So that's working, oops, sorry. So we have that, so genes, you got genes, home, you got home. Let's go ahead and get rid of the color because we don't need it. Um, I'll just make, uh, it'll make, it's white by default, so I'll go, uh, just get rid of that line because we don't need it. And one of the things I want to do is I want to, what we want to do is, you know that um, the, the scrolling recycler view that we had with all those products? That was being loaded right here. So let's take it out of this layout. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that. And I'm going to do, get rid of a line there. And let's go back into fragment main. And let's go ahead and just get rid of that. And we don't need it. And let's paste in our recycler view. So let's do that. I'm gonna delete some space up there, go over here, do uh, put your click on the error and do option enter. And that's what's what's going on there. It's not bound. I think it should. That's not working. I guess go back to here. So we need let's just copy this constraint. Let, wait, why isn't this usually what's going on? Let's just copy it. Let's, Let's copy, okay, let's copy app here. So let's just copy that line. I'm gonna copy it, go back to here, paste it in there, and there we go. Okay, cool. Just the namespace wasn't bound. And normally you normally you can put your mouse over it and do option enter, but I don't know what was going on. Maybe something with, okay. So cool, back to main activity. So we're basically done with this. This is basically saying, hey, um, this frame layout is gonna take up the full screen. So if you go back to here, you can see it's taken up it's taking up the full screen all the way around there. Let's go back to text mode and let's see. Okay, frame layout. Okay, so let's go back to what we were working on. So here's our fragment main. And let's just let's just re let's not rename it now. Let's go back to main activity. Now a lot of our code here for the recycler view is not gonna work anymore. Because what this, this is, remember, this is main activity. And main activity loads activity main. And in here, actually inside of, where were we? Oh, I know, we, I know what we did, content. Uh, let's just get rid of, let's just start over. Just saying, let's do close over this, okay. So, so what it's doing is it's saying, hey, get main activity. And our main, our content main eventually loaded this, which was, we had a recycler view here, but now it doesn't have a recycler view. So here is our frame layout. That's all we need. We're just gonna load it a different way. So let's go ahead and do this. Action bar stuff is good, products is good. Let's go ahead and just copy this right here. Uh, sorry, this to there. I'm gonna cut it out. Uh, make sure we, that should be good. And let's go inside of main fragment and we're moving stuff from main activity to main fragment. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's just inside of on create view. Let's paste that in, it's gonna do all the imports. And we can do, let's option enter. And it's gonna, what we need to do is we need to break this up a little bit because we need to we need to have access to this. I don't really know how to explain it well. Basically what we need to do is take this and I'm gonna do a value up here. I'm gonna do um, uh, val root equals, and then we're gonna return root. So we're basically broke, so we, right there we just broke it up. So, and so, oops, if I can't. So instead of instead of just returning that right there, we're sending it to a variable, then we're gonna return it right there. But this is important because we can use that root now. So we can do we can do stuff like root dot, and then what was it called? From uh, recycler. Yeah. So we have access to that stuff now. So see how this is red? Let's do this. Let's, I think this is the way to do it. Root dot. Recycler view, and then there we go. 
Uh, so that worked. And then this, uh, do we, oh wait, let's go, let's just go to our layout really quick, make sure I put, yes, the recycler view is in there, and it's called main activity. I'm going to shift click on the title to close it, and now it's complaining about this. This needs to be, this needs to be something else. This needs to be, I think, activity. I think that'll work. I think that's what we're supposed to do. Okay, cool. So now let's save this. I just want to go back to main activity to make sure I got everything. I'm going to go ahead and delete that line. It's not being used. Uh, then this looks good. There are no errors. We still have our navig. We're first loading the uh, loading the main fragment. Then we're doing some stuff to to listen for to listen for all of those items there, socks or whatever. We're, that's what it's all about. And then we have our action bar. We set some stuff up there and then do that. So I think this might work. So let's go ahead and run it. I'm going to save it and run it. And then this may give us an error. But if not, then we can, oh, so here we are. So cool, and we're back to there. Now let's go back to jeans. So now buy jeans today. Go back to home, yeah, here are our products. So cool. This is kind of the beginning of what I wanted to get done. So jeans, it could be a lot more complicated. You could add more layout. You could add different products here. You could reuse the recycler view. There's a lot of options you can do. Um, we can go back, uh, it doesn't work. Because it's, uh, so we have that. We can basically just switch around. So we have jeans, home. Now we haven't set up any of the other ones like shorts, but let's not do that right now. I think this is good enough for today. So we have home, there are our products. Home makes more sense to do just kind of categories and stuff, I think. But here we are, uh, e-commerce app, jeans works, free shipping, doesn't really do anything. Let's go ahead and go to jeans. Let's just close everything here. Let's close all. And let's go back to what was it, jeans fragment. And let's go ahead and command click on that. And let's add some padding there. So we'll do that. We'll do put it in the root layout. So we'll do pa padding and we'll do 16 dp. Save it, run it. And if we go back to the app, we should see a little bit more spacing there. And let's go back to here, jeans, and yeah, we do. There's a little bit of space. So in the next video, uh, we'll, what we'll do in the next video is we might create, go ahead and create shorts, and then we'll work on styling this with constraint layout. Again, upcoming, we'll either use Firebase or Google Cloud Platform, GCP, for their back end. Um, there are a lot of really cool services that Google has, and Google has, we might use Cloud Functions for this, this is, it's, it's incredible. It's like basically free. Well, it's not free, but let me look at the pricing really quick because I want to show you something. So uh, I should pull my screen up here. I have another monitor. So pricing examples. I think this is like, like the, the, the amount of stuff you get for free is insane. Like say you want to build something um, and you want to, and say you have 1 million users or 2 million users. Actually, let me go back one. I think it had the price seen on here. Maybe they don't. Free tier, uh, let's see, pricing. So, I mean, this stuff is pretty cheap. Like, say we have, I'm trying to, I, they must have changed stuff around a little bit on me, but, okay, here we go. So, yeah, 2 million requests are free per month. So, 2 million, okay, that's like, that's 2. That's million, right? That's how many, just say that's how many requests you get. So that can handle easily, that can probably handle, well, it depends upon how, how active your users are, but I mean, you could have that many users. Uh, two million, you could have, uh, yeah, I mean, like kind of, it just really depended upon how exactly you used it, but Cloud Functions uh, by Google on Google Cloud Platform, it's insane, you get two million for free, uh, up to 1 million commute, com compute seconds. I mean, this is the stuff we'll probably use. We might use Firebase, but then that's a little bit, I don't know, we'll, we'll figure out something. Anyway, so in this video, hopefully you learned how to switch between fragments, um, jeans, you got jeans there home, and we'll continue working on this in the next video.